you're looking at one of the newest pen testing cybersecurity gadgets out there. This is the BLE Shark Nano, and for under $40, this thing packs a punch. Thank you, Infi Shark Tech, for sending me this prototype so I can test it. In this video, I'm going to show you the reason why I'm replacing my daily carry Flipper Zero with the BLE Shark Nano. This whole video, I'm going to be breaking into why this thing is important, as well as showing you firsthand how easy it is to use this device. This device is not only cheap and affordable, but it's also very user friendly. During the time I'm recording this video, this product has been launched on Kickstarter and less than 24 hours, this device not only surpassed initial pledge goals, but it surpassed even the second pledge goal where now this device will get IR features. And that's the thing, this thing is packed with features right out of the box. Since YouTube is very strict, I can only show you the features. I can't demonstrate them. If you want to see this thing being demonstrated, go ahead and click on the link in the comments. Uh, that directs you to a different site that will allow me to demonstrate it, but I'm going to cut into another video I made showing you the features. First, it has Bluetooth low energy BLE spamming, allowing you to flood devices with spoofed BLE signals. You can target a wide range of devices, including Android, iOS, Windows, and Samsung, something the Flipper Zero doesn't handle as seamlessly. Then there's Wi-Fi AP spam, where you can easily create hundreds of fake Wi-Fi networks. Whether you want randomized networks, names, or custom ones, the BLE Shark Nano makes it simple. If you're into testing Wi-Fi security, the BLE Shark Nano also lets you perform deauthentication attacks. This tool can disconnect devices from 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks, helping you identify weak spots in your network security. Another great feature is its ability to set up custom captive portals. These are the login pages you often see on public Wi-Fi networks. You can create your own and deploy an evil portal, a feature that mimics real login pages to capture credentials for testing. Talk scroller, the mini keyboard, and its PC monitor. Again, if you want to see this thing in action, in the comments, please click on that link that directs you to a different video on a different platform that will allow me to show this thing actively. Now, this is all the stuff it has already. So keep in mind that this thing's already going to get infrared capabilities now that it's past its point in Kickstarter. And it's only going to get better, but it already has a bunch right out of the box. Now, the next major selling point on this device is how easy it is to use and to maintain. I'm going to walk you through the actual setup process. So when I got this device, it didn't come with a manual or anything. I just basically had to guess how to turn it on and uh, guess how to actually use it. And uh, the setup process will literally held my hand through everything. And it was so easy. I, I have to share this experience with you. So I'm going to cut into that clip right now. First things first, I turned on the device. Use a little welcome screen. And then it will tell you to hit any button to get started. Once you do that, it's going to tell you to connect to it over Wi-Fi. So go ahead and open up any device that you have. In this video, I use my iPad. Click on BL. Go ahead and put the password and security key that comes with your device. It should look just like this. Just a quick side note, there's a dark mode. Top right, there's a button. Just click it. So happy to see a dark mode. Go ahead and hit login once you're done putting in your password. Now you're going to connect your BLE Shark Nano to the internet so it can update itself. So go ahead and hit the next step and you should see an option to connect to a 2.4 gigahertz network click on the network you want to use and then once it says connection successful hit continue and i really like this little feature when you do this you get a little confetti it's simple but i just like the touch it's really nice and after you do that you're going to restart the device it's going to reboot itself then it's going to install the firmware. Once it's done, it should reboot once again. Now, the beautiful thing about this device, which you see here, is that if it's out of date, it will let you know, and it will automatically grab the update for you. So go ahead and hit yes. The button is enter. And now it's going to install its update. You don't have to plug this into the computer. Don't do anything. It just automatically does it. And once you're done, it's ready to go. You saw how simple that was to set up, and it's crazy to think that you didn't need a computer to plug it in or flash anything. It was just done with a couple clicks of a button. This makes it very comfortable for somebody that's just getting into the cybersecurity and cybersecurity gadgets like this one. It's just having that automatic update feature is really important. This makes the device much more approachable for beginners. So a lot of you already know that the Flipper Zero is very expensive. That's also because of the fact there's not many devices out there that can compete with it. So uh, for $170 US, you can get this device. But the problem is when you're outside of the US trying to get it, um, either you're not allowed to get it, it's blocked, or the amount of money you would have to spend is sometimes four times as much than the actual device. The BLE Shark Nano starts under $40 in the U.S. Now, you can get this device anywhere in the world. 
no limitations. So that makes it more accessible to people, just as much as the price makes it more accessible to people. This thing has a lot of customizations. So you can go to settings, extra settings, and go ahead and connect it over a Wi-Fi connection, which you'll see going on right here. Log in, and you can see all the extra settings that you can play with. The UI is nice and clean, it's simple, has dark mode, and it's easy to use. So my next point I'm gonna make, and my final point here is, how comfortable it is to have this device. What's the practicality? Now, compared to the two, this is a very small device. This is almost like the size of a key fob, and you can put it in your pocket. It's super easy to carry around. Like the Flipper Zero takes up a lot of real estate when if you're holding onto it as a daily driver. I'm um, gonna either put it in a bag or put it in your pocket where it's really bulky. This I can put in that little pocket on the top of your pants, which I don't know what it's really for, and it fits there perfectly. Now I have a, a actual purpose for that pocket now. And with the Flipper Zero, if I want to do anything when it comes to Wi-Fi pen testing, I have to bring a module with me. So that's even more bulk on top of what I already have. In summary, the BLE Shark Nano is more accessible, more affordable, more beginner friendly, easier to maintain than a Flipper Zero. Now the Flipper Zero is good, it has a lot of great things to it, but when it comes to the price and how much you get in this little package, it, it's just it's just crazy. And I'm really excited about this product because I've been testing cybersecurity gadgets for a while now and finding something from my community that's easy to use, accessible and cheap has been very hard. Um, there's been a lot of products I've tested in the past, um, even the M5 stick. Um, it comes per, comes really close, but it's not that really user friendly, but this thing just fills in all the boxes. This is one project that I'm really excited about and it's not gonna be like the Cyber Pro where it had a lot of promise and it just disappeared overnight because I have this product in my hand, I have the prototype. The community is rallying around this and I'm actually partnered with this company and they're actually in my Discord. They actually talk to the community members there. So this is definitely promising. I really like this device. It's replacing my daily carry. This is easily one of my top three favorite cybersecurity devices I own. Hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments about this device. Again, thank you InfiShark Tech for sending me this device. And remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you in the next video.